in the hockey mom. Um, it was very scary. I uh, didn't feel real. My father passed away seven years ago to colon cancer, so um, I didn't believe that it was happening to me. Um, it uh, it took me took me back to when I found out he um, was in stage four. Uh, all those emotions came flooding through. So um, we just took one day at a time and. Um, went through this, the stages that I had to go through to um, be cancer free. Again, it didn't feel real. It was like, what is cancer free? So um, uh, we celebrated that night when we heard it. Uh, I had a lump in my chest. I felt sick. Uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of happy tears. You get a picture of like something on your chest and on your shoulders, heavy, heavy. And then when you hear you're cancer free, it's like everything's lifted, everything's gone. You could breathe. You can actually look into the future and say, okay, now I can do this and do this and do this. And I'm gonna be here for my girls and I'm gonna watch them grow. Because when you hear you got cancer, you think, What's next? Am I going to be here in six months? Am I going to be here in a year? I think I'm telling my story um, and not feeling sorry for myself and telling people it's okay. It's okay to feel the way you feel. It's okay to feel robbed. It's okay to feel sad, but you get, get up. You have a life to live and to go forward and to enjoy every moment, every moment. The day I got the email saying that I was nominated, I didn't know anything about it. It was my aunt, Sean, that nominated me. And just to think about walking on that, out on that rink is breathtaking. Like, it's, it's an honor to be able to do what we, we are doing, raising the money, being the hockey moms, 